Before we do get into this video, I want to say I will be giving away a game pass of choice. As long as the game has gifting, you can get gifted that game pass. So yeah, we're just gonna pick one winner. Um, comment down your username with the game that you want the game pass in. And of course, you know, the game pass that it is with just a message, just anything, bro. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video and hope y'all enjoy the rest, man. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy back with another video. So, in today's video, Cursed Arena has gotten one of the biggest reworks I've seen yet, bro. They've pretty much reworked two characters, and in addition, they added Chosu's Awakening. So, if you're wondering what got reworked, first, um, Sukuna slash Itadori, and the next, Gojo. So, we're gonna be checking all that stuff out. Let's get straight into it, bro. Alright, so I currently have a list of, like, stuff we're gonna cover, because this, this is a lot, bro. I'm not gonna lie. So... We're on the Red Manipulator, so let's just do a refreshment of the character, and just so you guys can, you know, see the moves and get a little refreshment, so let's go ahead and use it real quick, that's the 2 right there, this is the 3, that's a counter, 4 is Pierce Overdrive, yep, I remember that move too, okay, so let's go ahead and activate our ultimate, go to settings, give awakening, let's see this animation. Oh yeah, there's some music, but I sadly can't play it, because it might be copyright. Alright, we're now inside our ultimate. First move, ultimate storm. Here we go. Alright, they just starts raining. Okay, that's clean. For pubs, that's going to be dangerous, bro. Alright, two is earthquake outburst. Yo, what the hell was that, bro? Hold on, let me let me turn off my cooldowns real quick. We need to see that again, bro. Just zoom out. Okay, let me just send a rock from the sky, bro. What the hell? That's sick. Yo, this character's probably about to be devious for pubs, bro. But yeah, that was pretty much the ultimate for now, man. Let's go ahead and check out the next thing I have on the list, which is the Gojo rework. So, let's go on the strongest sorcerer. Okay. So, Shove Strike reports replaced <laughs> Gale Force Bomb. So, see this? Ooh, okay, that, that's probably the finisher. Let me use it again. Alright, and then you just TB behind them. Hey, this game feels so much smoother than before, bro. They did cook with this rework. But yeah, that's it for the first move right there. Second move is reworked collapse strike. Let's go ahead and use it. Ooh, okay. There we go. You got cursed energy on the kick there as well. Nice. Loki, when I saw the sneaks, I thought it was for Toto. I'm not gonna lie. Um, three is they reworked lapse blue. Ooh, these effects look so much better, bro. Hey, they're cooking, bro. I like how they're reworking old characters. Not a lot of games do that, bro. But yeah, there's that Laps Blue rework. Four, Reversal Red got reworked. So let's go ahead and check this out. Oh yeah, also another thing they added is like some stuff. Also, Sukuna's Domain. You literally have like fingers when you use it, bro. So I just think this is an awesome feature. Like no game has done this. At least from what I've seen. But yeah, like you could literally use red with your finger. But, but yeah, that's it for the reversal red. Now, they reworked Crimson Flare, hold to use max blue. It's like what they said, so let me pop up real quick. There we go. So let's use Crimson Flare. And there we go. So that's the Crimson Flare right there. Also, they made the Domain Expansion Barrier look better and added breaking effects when it ends. Also, these eyes definitely do look different is what I noticed. But look at this. We, have, like, we, we do a domain with our fingers, bro. That's sick. All right, we sadly, like... I mean, I could, we kind of just, like, check the domain from out here. But here's a little barrier right here. And here's the domain. So, here's what we're going to do now. We're going to go ahead and check out the rework for Sukuna. All right, the rework for Sukuna is rework Divergent Fist. Let's go ahead and spawn up a dummy real quick and test it out, bro. All right, first move, Divergent Fist. Wait, is that new in months as well? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. Actually, wait, those look different. I might be tweaking. Let me know down below. But, um, yeah, let's get straight into these moves, bro. First move, Divergent Fist. And you just punch him. Yup, I do remember seeing this in the sneaks. Bro, that cursed energy, like, on the arms looks so good. Alright, new move, Furry Kicks. Hold to use variant, replaced dual assault. Ooh, okay, so I think it's like, if you hold it, it does a black flash. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So if you hold it, it does a black flash. That's sick. Let's do it one more time. All right, here we go. Yeah, and you just hit it with a black flash. Tough, tough, tough. All right, that's for furry kicks. Black flash rework. Tap right before hitting, and it has a finisher. All right, so that's if you, like, miss it, like I just did. So let's try to time this. Um, I wonder if it's, like, directly. Let's try. 
Huh, I wonder how that works, bro. I'm not really too sure, like, on the timing on that, bro. Like, do we click it, like, whenever it, like, brings the hand back? Huh, I'm gonna be right back and try to learn how to land that real quick. Alright, y'all, after a lot of attempts, I figured out how to actually land this Black Flash. So, it's not actually, like, when you catch them, you have to, like, time the click. It's actually before you catch them. That's how you're gonna want to time the click. So, you have to do the Black Flash right before you catch them with the move. So, I just have to, like, time it correctly. It's gonna take me a couple tries since I'm not the best at it. So, yeah, just bear with me here. So, let me just try doing this real quick. There we go. And boom, there we go. You just hit him with a Black Flash. So, that's the first part done for Sukuna. Let's see what else they got, bro. Let me just go to the list real quick. Okay. New move, drop kick. Hold to use Curse Blade Rand. Oh, that's cool. So, they have like two variants. So, that's the drop kick right there. And Curse Blade Rand is if you hold for. I like how they're adding variants to moves. Okay. Let's just pop up real quick. Wait for this to finish up. By the way, um, the thing we're going to be checking out for Sukuna's ult is the domain expansion it reworks uh, the startup, by the way. All right, domain expansion. Here we go. Yep, there we go. We got the fingers as well. I just think that's such a cool feature, bro. And yeah, just the domain pretty much. Not too crazy. The sound effects definitely do sound a lot better. But, you know, just for safety reasons, I am not turning that on, bro. But one thing that I actually forgot to tell y'all at the start of the video is we're using Volcano Head. Apparently, his domain expansion got reworked, so that's sick, bro. So we're going to go ahead and show this off. And then we're going to go do one rank game with Choso. Just to see how viable he is with Awakening now. He was looking really good regardless. Alright. Fourth move. Domain Expansion. This got reworked. There we go. And we're now inside the domain. And you know, you can just fight him. Do whatever you want, bro. But yeah, that's literally everything I wanted to cover. It did take a really long time. Because we had a lot of stuff to cover, bro. I'm not going to lie. Let's go and do one rank game with Show. So, hope you enjoyed the rest of the video, man. Alrighty, we're starting off with the first, and we're just going to do one for the day, because I am trying to get to sleep after this, I ain't going to cap, bro. But we're going to be using Choso, because you know he's fun, so why not? And he got an awakening, this update. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this match real quick. Let's see what Musa is using as well. I think the running animations are different, Um, I can't really tell, but... Alright, bro caught me with those M1s, I'm not going to lie. And with the two, yo. Block that. Alright, that's the counter. Yeah, I just gotta get used to the moves again. We block those. Come on now. Four. Uh-huh. One, two, three. Compress shot. Alright. Nope. Bro almost hit me with that, but luckily we were able to escape. Oh damn, I sold there. Let me get back up right quick. One, two, three. There we go. Pierce Overdrive. Ah, I sold there, bro. Man, I told you that's some nasty damage. Counter? Oh, he missed his M1s, bro. I'm just trying to catch, bro. That's all. Okay. Well, we're getting cook low key, but we could just come back easily, bro. And with the four, one, two, three, down slam. There we go. Bro, those M1 effects, like, just go so well with these sound effects, bro. Could have sworn my M1s literally went straight past them, but we'll just let that slide, I guess. Counter? Perfect. Yeah, that move is so good, bro. I'd say, like, the counter is the best move in the um, base kit, at least. Oh, yeah, we got ultimate. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm happy we did one match and we were able to use our ultimate in that one match, bro. Ultimate Storm. Yeah, bro, that's hitting you. <laughs> you ain't escaping from that, dog. Use the two. Is my man alive? Did I just miss a two? Where's bro running to? All right, I'm going to just wait for this uh, move to come back, but I, I just killed him. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the last match of the video. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video off there. Hope you all enjoyed, man. Yo, this update's crazy, bro. Two character reworks. I mean, Jogo as well, but, you know, not as important as Sukuna and Gojo. But yeah, pretty much like two to three character reworks with a ultimate. They are cooking. They did take a very long time, but they did deliver, in my opinion, at least. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Have a good rest of your day, and good luck on winning the giveaway as well. And peace out.